Well, this is the advertisement that popped up on some screens recently when riders were just trying to find out when the next time a train or bus would show up. The ad reads, which would you choose? Best concealed carry gun, and it shows two guns. That's uncomfortable. Um, yeah, I mean, personally, I'd rather people not be carrying concealed carry at all. Well, it turns out the app that this ad appeared on is not an official Metro app. Third-party developers can use Metro's publicly available data and then create their own app. Now, here's the thing. There are actually all sorts of different Metro-related apps. This right here, DC Metro and Bus, this was the app where that advertisement appears. This right here, the Smart Trip app, that is the official Metro app. But if you scroll through, you can see there are actually all sorts of other apps that are related to the DC Metro system. They can put any advertising that they want on their apps. Metro is not a stranger to controversial ads. There have been others in the past. And even though this ad is not directly tied to the official Metro app, some believe the message it carries is relevant. George Lyon is an attorney that's suing Metro to allow concealed carry in D.C. From my standpoint, I have no problem with the ad. I think people should be able to carry on the Metro. There's no doubt that there are people carrying guns on the Metro, and they're not my law-abiding licensed concealed carriers. They are people generally with criminal records. By Metro's figures, crime is down by almost 20% compared to last year. And riders have noticed. I know they've been having like a lot more police be at certain stops. Just be aware, when you're using these Metro-related apps, the ads you see may never have been approved by Metro at all. Along the Metro system, Adam Tuss, News 4. News 4 reached out to both the third-party app where this ad was displayed and the advertiser, but we have not yet heard back.